Uh, Alex Jones, this is just kind of after the show. I, I want, because I know this was a topic that's going to take a little bit longer to unpack. You were just talking about sort of demonic apparitions and uh, what they do in Silicon Valley. Now, here's one thing I will say. I have not had any experience with, with DMT or uh, like hallucinogenic drugs. Um, but I do know that Joe Rogan and Eddie Bravo have talked about this. And it, it's fascinating to me that they've talked about having shared hallucinations. Uh, which you don't really get when it's a, hallucina a hallucination, right? If it's in your mind, if it's just something that you're, you know, deep there in your subconscious or your cerebellum is conjuring up, um, you wouldn't all see the same thing. I, I, I don't take DMT. I've, I've not taken that. I've never taken ayahuasca. And I've talked to hundreds of people. It's the total rage for like 15 years where I live in Austin. And a lot of these are doctors. They're scientists. And they go, yeah, we were down in Peru or we were down in Costa Rica or we were down in Belize and there was 20 of us. There was 50 of us. There was 100 of us. And we saw the spaceship land and the aliens walk out and we all saw the same aliens. And they all, and I'm like, listen, but, but, but the doctor goes, this medical doctor, I know he goes, but I think that's just the chemical. And I'm like, no, dude, you don't all see the same thing. It lowers the veil the Bible talks about where you can see your eyes see a lot more than just visible light. They're part of your brain. Mm -hmm. And so God has given us blinders so that we can operate the third dimension and not go crazy seeing all the other stuff going on around us in other dimensions. And so that's really what this comes down to. And Terrence McKenna and Timothy Leary talking about it. And basically, they look like gray aliens, except they wear little elf hats, little green outfits. And that's who you talk to at least level one taking the drugs. And, 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 and again, I know dozens and dozens and dozens of people that go to ayahuasca and DMT cults because they're all seeing and interacting with the same thing. It might be a 200 foot tall praying mantis. It might be a giant demon. It might be a bunch of little gray aliens. Well, either our brains are all psychic and are sneaking up with somebody mm -hmm. and then one leader and, and the group's causing a hallucination. Maybe that's happening. Or we're breaking through and something real is happening. Biblically, you read about it, the Bible says, do not go to the sorcerers and take pharmakia. You know, the symbol of the grinder and the and the bowl means drugs. Right. Because, the, because that's what the magicians in every culture we would would grind up hallucinogens, take them, and they go. The gods say build a pyramid or 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 build an altar and throw babies into it. Let's be clear. You read about uh, Nero, yes, and and people. He would dress up like a werewolf. This is in the Roman histories, and have a kid tied up to a pole and run in with a with a wolf skin on his back and kill a kid. The, the, exactly. These elites take drugs like like voodoo to try to interface with something evil. So an Eddie Bravo, a Joe Rogan, they're nice guys. So they go and it's a little alien saying, I'm your friend, I'm your spirit guide, come visit me more. But people that get deeper into it, the spirit guide, it's like the Bible says, leads you somewhere very, very bad. And again, why do we think aliens are going to come from space? They're going to come from another dimension. Again, I agree, they're not aliens. They've always been with us and it's demonic. And listen, you can search engine this. We have human-animal hybrids now. We have, we have uh, babies that have been genetically edited. Uh, we have world government. I mean, it's all here. And I'm not saying I even have the answers. Right. All I'm saying is the establishment is obsessed with communicating via pharmacia drugs with other entities. It's, it's like Avatar, the movie Avatar. They believe they're taking drugs, whether it's voodoo or black magic or any of this, so that something else can come in and run you. Right. And, and that's what this is, is you're giving yourself over to something else. And you're being influenced by a interdimensional, off-world, spiritual, whatever you want to call it, thing that wants to kill, steal, and destroy. I mean, you read the Bible, and then you see what people, the experiences they have on ayahuasca and DMT, it is satanic. And so that's why, you know, I like Joey's a nice guy. He's like, hey, you should take DMT. And I'm like, no freaking way, man. It's not even a fear-based thing. It's the losing control. And then, and then like, I'm in a damn room with a 200-foot praying mantis. I was talking to one of the crew members, and, and, and he, he took it about a year ago, and he was in this room with a 200-foot praying mantis for like 10 years, it felt like telling him, submit to me. That sounds like I the mean, mist.